Welcome to episode two of Bunker Cooking. Today's a twofer. We're gonna do a cream of broccoli soup and biscuits. I'll be very curious how this turns out. The recipe today, recipe, is, uh, let's see, for the soup, we're gonna toss in some onion, garlic, potatoes, broccoli, spices, proprietary spices, can't tell you what those are. You guys, today was the day I stopped drinking coffee. If we do attempt a roux of some sort, it'll be three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour, and milk. Don't know why I didn't put the amount of milk. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Here's the geode in more detail. <laughs> you think it's gonna be amethyst when I crack it open? Or just maggots? Okay, so what I did was just uh, cut up some broccoli and some potatoes in a little cube so I can boil them and make them soft. But as usual, I did everything in the wrong order. First, I have to saute some garlic and some onions in the pot and then boil it with this. So let's rewind this. It's your it's your I don't usually cry from onions the other times I cook, but something about the, either the types of onions here, I don't know, but it makes me cry. I usually only cry when a <laughs> Marvel theme music comes out at the beginning of a Marvel movie. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't even know why. What Avenger would you want to save us in all of this? Or what Marvel person? I feel like Doctor Strange has the most power, ultimately. I mean, if you can control time and timelines, right? That makes sense. Oh shit, when do I add the milk? Okay, so I don't have a small saucepan. I tried to buy one the other day, just a simple small saucepan, and it was $30. And I was like, I would rather struggle terribly than spend $30 on a saucepan that I'll use for a couple months. So stupid, I'm so stupid. I'm like trying to look all cool and like lean somewhere, but there's nowhere to lean. It's not a flaming stove. I'm a notorious spoon thief. I will steal spoons from restaurants. I have nowhere to put them, so I limit myself to like one or two a year. And they're not good spoons, they're not like silver. I once stole a fork from a Kenny Rogers Roasters restaurant in an airport in Malaysia, but then I made BJ carry it, but then I made him get rid of it before we got on the airplane because I think he would have been detained as a terrorist. You guys, today was a day I stopped drinking coffee. Okay, switching gears back to the biscuits. This is now my fourth attempt at stovetop, stovetop baked goods uh, since the quarantine started. Also in my whole life. So 41 years. Okay, I'm already way over my head. This old bag I had, it's type 000. No idea what that means. And yet this type I have is 0000. I'm mushing this butter around in this flour with my hands. It is one of the best things I've ever done. I can't help it. I want to look. Oh, no. Uh oh. That's weird. What does it mean when there's like a section of the um, gas burner that's not lit? It's like three quarters lit and one section's not. Should I be scared? Gas burner, one part not lit. Biscuit can. Biscuit can. Very, very good. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to the second episode of Bunker Cooking and its sister show, Bunker Baking. Bunker <laughs> Stove Top Baking. See you next time. Bye.
legit forgot that was filming. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know what I would spend my mouth. 